And we'll rapidly move on to Professor um, Kyun Kang from Seoul National University in, in Korea. And he'll be talking about albumin for in vivo imaging and drug delivery. Okay, thank Mr. you, Twin. And uh, thank you, Beat and uh, Patrick and the organizing committee to invite me here. And so I'd like to talk about albumin drug delivery systems. I'm a nuclear mass physician, and uh, so I'm radio labeling and then many nanoparticles and uh, testing it. And uh, many nanoparticles are provided the material scientist and uh, the chemist. And uh, finally, I decided in the albumin, very traditional one is much more safe than that one. And because and I'm a nuclear mass physician, and I have some experiments and ex experience of using the technician-based albumin imaging. And there are EPR impact is uh, already known and they're published in the 1984 and uh, um, in Japanese group and they used and uh, at the time albumin and so albumin is also one of the uh, FDA approved drug and also albumin is the most abundant in the protein in our blood vessel and uh, there is multiple binding site it is already act as a natural and uh, drug delivery systems and uh, especially the hormones and also is very soluble. Yes, so sometimes an insoluble and there um, some lipophilic materials and they get bind, binded on it and there, such as uh, in the signing green. And it has a very long ha plasma half-life like uh, antibody. And so actually it acts like antibody because then it rescued by the FCRN receptors in, in the cell, uh, hepatic cells and, also, uh, and the cilia cells. And so it we up, uptake and by the and uh, hepatic cells and then coming out again and recirculating like antibody. So this is a picture for a technetium albumin scan, hemoserum albumin, which is uh, used for diagnostic protein losing anthropocy. And this patient has uh, some secretion of the and uh, albumin through the and the small bowel and after twenty four hours. But if you're looking at the, uh, the pictures in the optimum, and you can see the major vessels and the liver, maybe on the tip, lower tip of the heart. And so it may, mainly and visualized in the, our blood vessels and the blood pool. And, but you can see uh, some bone marrows over here. Actually, the, and the liver is uh, some stronger than just the, the blood pool because in the, when you use in the radio labeling and technetium, so we use a stainless coal, Chloride and it's a reducing agent, and so it may be modifying the albumin, the denaturing, and so it's going to the and the denatured albumin going to the macrophages, acrypto cells. And so I, I also tested in the technetium albumin in the tumor bearing mice, mouse, and the couple one the mm, prosthetic cancer cell lines over here, and you can see and there it's a slowly accumulating in the technetium albumin and the tumor, but. Uh, you can see a very hot uptake in the liver, as well as there's some vomero. So it means there the denatured albumin. And so and the, we used in the, some uh, click chemistry to, uh, the, for and, uh, uh, using the uh, neutral pH and, uh, and, the t and the temperatures. And so I have a chance to, and collaborating with their Felix Kratz and the Tumor Valley Center, now he's working at the Cytrix company, and he developed their human serum albumin conjugated with uh, Dr. Lubishin on the one side, and on the other side, and galactose, and targeting the hepatic cells and hepatocellular carcinomas. He sent me and some and different number of moiety on the surface in the lactosamine, and uh, this the L8 means are um, the one albumin conjugated eight, and their lactosamine on the surface, and the 26 and the increasing number, the lactosamine on the surface, and targeting variety. And then we tested in there, and uh, for the control, the HT29 cells, uh, which is a colon cancer cell, human cancer, and which is not expressed as, as a site uh, there, SSGPR, and, uh, and the HEPG2 cells, as are in the well differentiated hepatic cells. Epicellular carcinoma cells is overexpressed. The SHGPR means that then their lactosamine is already bind to it. And so uh, we tested in vitro. And so as the number of is increasing, and their L56 and their FITC and, and their conjugated in the human serum albumin is so, somewhat decreasing. 
and burnt, and for a well differentiated hepatic hepatocellular carcinoma cells, and uh, you can see the increasing. <coughs> And for the in vivo studies, and we conjugate a copper 64, and they're at 12 hours and half life, and we can see up to and the follow up in the 46 hours in one animal, and seriously. And uh, we and, uh, inoculate the three different tumors, and the HEP2 cells, well differentiated one, HEP3B cells, is there a cellular carcinoma, but in the poorly differentiated. And so, acyloglucose. Glucoprotein receptors is uh, less expressed than the Hg2 cell. H29 is their colon cancer cell line for the control. And if you're looking at just the copper 64, and there's still some tumors are visualized because in the, there's a, some tumor has a copper transporter. And there, this is a, just a simple uh, there albumin conjugated with the uh, uh, copper 64. You can see three mm, different tumors and almost the same. Because it, I think it's EPL impact. But if you increase the number of the rocosamine on the surface, it's um, more going to the end there. Hep2 cells. So, uh, so if you increase the number of uh, targeting wire on the surface of, in the albumin, and so you can targeting the specific tumors, and there there is almost none visualized in the fully differentiated hepatic cells, and also and their colon cancer cells. And also, you can see the liver is also uptake very high if they increase the number of doctors. I mean, because in the liver is, uh, normal liver is uh, expressed uh, ASGPR as well. So we excised in the autoradiography, so it's almost the same as that one. And the number is increasing, and uh, it is quite interesting. The, and the number is increasing, and their control cells and the EPL effect are reducing it. So we don't know that uh, it is a stealing effect, and to the, and the maybe and the, many of the albumin is going to the liver in these cases. But and uh, we want to use as, uh, just a naked in the albumin because an albumin is just EPL effect, but and there is a many and there are other uh, uh, theories that. The albumin is not just EPL effect, that there is a, some specific target, such as Avraxins, and they're already suggesting in the GP60 and the, to, for targeting in the, in the, in the tumors. And also, we are interested about the SPARC. SPARC is um, the secretary in the protein acid, acidic and rich in sustain, which is already mainly excreted in the, in the glioma cells. And uh, we tested in the many different cell lines and which cells are excreting in the spark. And the UAD7MG glioma cells, U373s, and uh, it secreted it. But some glioblast stomach cells and the excised from our institute also expressing it very high, and while the other cells are very low. So we also made in some spark knockdown cells, the UAD7MG, and compared them and uh, the function of the spark for the albumin uptake. And this is in vitro fluorescence imaging, UAD7MG and the UAD7 knockdown cells. And uh, we, this is their uh, uptake, and the hemocellular albumin was conjugated with Psi5, and you can see the, uh, the red colors in the uptake here, and the knockdown, and the cells, and the very less amount of uptake. And, but if you, if you treat the spark externally, and the one microgram, the increasing of the five micrograms, and so an even knockdown cells uptake, like a, a naked cell, native cell. And then we also injected in the human serum albumin with the, the fluorescence, and the, we inoculate in the U87MG and the native cell here, and there are knockdown cells over here, and almost the same size. And if you're looking at there and the follow-up imaging in the one animal, and up to 24 hours, and the much higher uptake in the U87 MG and native, and there's some uptake is also going to the end of knockdown. And then we excise it, and then after 24 hours, and then we and uh, uh, visualize the spark. You know, using the Alexa 488, and so uh, looking at, uh, I, I didn't uh, the label in here, and the, this is uh, 
highly vasculature area because the upper smooth muscle uh, and the antigens are right here and uh, you can see in some basal structures and some disease are in the central areas of summit and the perivascular areas and there is no uh, the upper smooth muscles here and even the spark is uh, well secreted in the lower vasculature area, highly vasculature areas, but you can see the albumin is distributed in only very near the vessel. And so poor vasculature areas is the albumin cannot penetrate it. But if you're looking at the spark knockdown, mm, the cells, it's very interesting because in there, uh, it is, if you're looking at this and there's some um, the albumin is there is some ex extra budgeted, but if you're looking at this knockdown, and it is almost identical in the in, in the blood vessel. It means there are uh, knockdown cells in there. It is not EPL effect, and it is just in there remain in the uh, in the ciliary cell. So, so we are still developing stages, and so and uh, we don't know yet in the. Really, and the naked albumin is an EPL effect on R. It may be under retained in their endothelial cell into some tumors. It may be extra basated, and, and but not propagate, propagated it for wrong and in, in, in very low vasculature areas. So, so and uh, we need to get more optimizing this. After optimizing this, I want to use that and the human serum albumin as a base for the narrow direct delivery system. And um, I acknowledge and there. Uh, our teams with a different background, the biologists and the chemists and engineers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions or suggestions or remarks? Come on. I think one of the things you, you nicely showed is that the more targeting ligand you add to your albumin as a carrier, the shorter its circulation time becomes, right? You see, uh, because the it is are taken by the and the liver as well. Yeah, can be specific, can be unspecific. It's difficult to figure that out, I guess, because people have known that. I think even Maeda had a, a couple of mm -hmm. papers on that. The more intensely you modify albumin, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the more severely its circulation time drops. Yeah, that's right. right? Yes, that's because in the Cooper cell in the liver and macrophages engulfed right. in albumin, and they're disappearing. So it's a compromise then. Yeah, right? compromising. Yeah. So we're uh, regulating the uh, and the click chemistries and how much amount of DBCO on the surfaces, and we're measuring it. The rest amount of the DBCO and the circulate more. Mm -hmm. so I, I didn't show this. But here taking that into account, what would be your preferred particle? Would it be a, a passively targeted albumin? Albumin drug carrier, or would it be the L56 or 65? Uh, it's a lactosamin. It's yeah. a galactose is targeting the hepatic cells and uh, also well differentiated hepatocellular carcinoma cells. It is a targeting variety on the surface. Mm -hmm. It's done just in naked albumin. Mm -hmm. yeah. But which one would you prefer? Oh, yeah, so we can do anything. And if you're targeting some specific tumors, and we have to add something. And But if you just multi targeting and multi cancers, and then you're better, and just the navy album is much better. And uh, so it's just in case, and yeah, much easier. Yeah, yes. Point of view, That's right. And easier. much easier to get approved by the FDA. Yeah. One more remark or question? If not, in the interest of time, we'll move on. Thank you again very Thank much. Thank you.